Hello everybody, it's Schwan again, and this is the next video in the TragicServers.com series of how to better manage your server. And in today's video, it's going to be nice and short, nice and sweet, and it's how to upload a config to your server and get that config to exec every time your server starts. So, let's get started. As you saw in our Maps video, Tragic has set up a downloads portion of his website, which we're going to take advantage of by going to, when we're logged in, by going to Support, then Downloads, and... I'd like to note here that if you go to tragicservers.com slash downloads.php, you can also get to this page without having an account and still be able to take advantage of this resource. So, I'm going to click on the configs folder, because that's what we're talking about today, and there are three things here. There's UGC 6s, UGC Highlander, and ESCA Season 12, and whitelists are, are also included in this pack with all of these configs listed. So we'll go ahead and download the ESCA Season 12 one, and when we do we will see something that looks like this. It's another zip file, just like we talked about in the map tutorial, and we're just going to want to extract it. Now we can go 7-zip, you know, we can extract here. We can open it up and drag it. Um, you can open it natively in Windows if you don't use something like 7-zip or WinRAR, but, you know, open the zip file, and you'll see a folder. It's important to open the zip file, because when you're uploading things to a server, FileZilla won't let you will not let you upload from a zip, it needs to be extracted. So now we see this folder structure, and we see all the configs and the whitelist. Now you'll, actually, I won't mention it right now, we'll, we'll go and open FileZilla. If you don't know what you're looking at right now, you should watch our FileZilla FTP tutorial. So, we'll go to where we were before, this is right here in our local site, and this is the folder we extracted, we'll click in here, and I'll just start from the top here. If you open on your right side on the remote site, for me, it's the vector server. This will be your TF2 server. You'll click on TF, and then you'll click on CFG. That's where we're going to be dealing today, and these are where all the configs are put. Now, there's CTF, COF, push, and stopwatch. You can, you know, you can select all these by, like, clicking the first one, holding shift, clicking the last one, and dragging them into CFG. Um, you could do it individually if you're crazy. You know, anything you got to do, just select all of them. I think you can even probably make a box around them. Yep, totally. And put them in your CFG folder. Um, now, for this whitelist.txt, there are special lines of code in these config folders that only exact the whitelist when the config is running, and that's why it's not named like item whitelist and put in another directory. So if we were to open this config, I just want to show you what I mean. This might be a little uh, unnecessary, but I want, I want to show you anyway. So if we go to, oh, let's see, where does it say whitelist in here? Here we go. So when the tournament starts, you know, when this config is started, it will exact the ESCA whitelist.txt, and what do we have here? The ESCA whitelist.txt. So, we will just put all of these files, everything you see here, into the CFG folder, and now whenever you exec the config, it'll also exec the whitelist, which is the current whitelist for Season 12, and that's it. So, that's how you do that, but let's talk about one more thing, which is how do you get these configs to exec when the server starts? So, we'll open, we'll go to our CFG folder, you know, TF, CFG, and we'll scroll down and we'll try to find the server.cfg, which is right here. Okay, we'll view slash edit, just like we talked about in previous videos, and we will see that right here it says exec ESCA underscore push dot CFG. If you put that somewhere in your server.cfg file, whenever your server restarts or changes maps, it'll automatically exec whatever config you want it to, and that's easily put in by just, again, typing exec space and then the config name. All right, and that's it. That's the entire tutorial for today. That's how you upload a config and a whitelist and how to make it start every time your server restarts or the map changes. I'm Schwan, and I'm out.